So today is a drawing day and I want to discuss how to draw skirt flat sketches. And drawing a skirt is very similar to drawing a pant, which I discussed in this video, except there's no legs. So it's actually a little bit easier, but a lot of the same elements that I talked about in the how to draw a pant flat sketch video also apply here. So let's get right into it. Similar to pants, you want to consider the fit, waist placement, the length, and the bottom opening. Like with a pant, the waist placement will visibly change the look of your sketch. Of course, the length is also important. Once you know what length your skirt is, mini, below the knee, maxi, full length, you can use a croquis as a guide to make sure it's accurately reflected on your sketch. The fit and bottom opening go somewhat hand in hand. A pencil skirt or straight skirt tends to be a little more fitted, while an A-line or circle skirt tends to have a looser fit. And as the fit becomes looser and more voluminous, usually the bottom opening becomes wider. So this week, I'm going to draw a midi length circle skirt. I'm going to start at center front at the top of the waistband, and again, make sure you're using a croquis as a guide to help you navigate appropriate placement points on the body. You'll need to decide the placement of the waistband so you know where to place your first point. If you're using a nude body croquis like mine, make sure you're dressing the croquis, meaning your sketch should not look skin tight. Now, a circle skirt not only falls away from the body, but it also has volume built in, which you'll see when it falls on the body. And to show this, I'll draw the out seam away from the body and I'll give the hem a little curviness. Then, use the width profiles to further indicate the volume. And depending on how much volume, you'll make the curves in the hem even curvier, overlapping slightly for very voluminous skirts. From here, once you add any additional finishes like pockets, darts, stitching, you can reflect the sketch, join it, and then group it. Use this sketch to do your back view. Ungroup it and add any details that may be different from the front like a center back seam or zipper closure. And once you add those details, group the sketch and you're done. Particularly for circle skirts, you might also see it sketched like this, where one side is shown flat. And the reason to do that is so you can add a measurement of the circumference of the hem for the pattern maker. If you do decide to do your drawing like this, it's a great sketch to add to a tech pack. And of course there are loads of other types of skirts. A pencil, A-line, or straight skirt are pretty simple to draw. So I like to demo this one so you can see how to add the volume. Now, if you don't have your own croquis to use, I added a link to mine in the description. And if you need more illustrative for fashion tutoring or group classes, there are links in the description to those as well. We go much more in depth and step-by-step -step on how to use a pen tool and how to sketch a garment. Thanks for watching this week's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.